easily one of the biggest questions that I get on my Red Wing boot videos is the cost issue. Heritage boots are just expensive and pretty much there's not a really good way to get deals on them unless you're buying them used or getting factory seconds. Or at least that's what I thought until I looked into Red Wing's work boot line, which is a surprising alternative to Heritage boots that I'll be showing you today at my local farm and fleet store. One thing that's a little bit less known about work boots was in the 1950s when the transition from heritage styles of welts, the Goodyear welt, was being replaced with the glued welt, which is much more commonplace in work boots now, that Red Wing actually developed a hybrid welt, you might say, called the Super Sole welt. Now this is a welt that utilizes a plastic welt, but actually is stitched to the sole, which means that you're going to be able to have that sole recrafted, even though by all appearances it isn't going to look a lot different than a typical glued sole. So if you know what to look for, you'll be able to find a recraftable Red Wing boot for probably close to half of the price of a Heritage boot. This is an 8 inch work boot. It is a steel toed boot which has a oil resistant outsole so it would be great for working outdoors. But What's interesting about it is that super sole outsole like I mentioned. So even though it looks just like a glued rubber outsole, it's actually going to be great for recrafting. You'll notice that it features a lot of similar construction methods as the Heritage style boots too. The triple stitching features nice nickel eyelets as well as a extra strap in the back for support. This does have a full grain leather upper, however you'll notice that it doesn't have quite the depth of some of the leather in the Heritage boots. This is imported leather rather than the leather that's made at the foot plant in Minnesota, which is used in a lot of Heritage boots. Here's a similar style of boot in 8 inches. As you can see, to most people this would look just like their Red Wing Heritage boots. And again, the cost savings is immense compared to what you're getting from those Heritage boots. Here is one of my favorite models that can easily be found for around $150. These are the Red Wing Pecos, a well-known boot that's actually available in a Heritage footbed as well. You'll notice that this is just a pull-up style boot that uh, really is a versatile boot, especially probably for environments where you're going to need to be getting in and out quickly and it of course has that super sole outsole as well. This is one of my favorite Red Wing work boots that you can get for around $130. This is a six inch boot, no steel toe, very simple design. There's just nothing fancy, nothing fancy about the collar, nothing fancy about the eyelets, but you are gonna get made in USA quality Red Wing construction. And so this is the kind of boot that I would strongly recommend for someone who can maybe get over not having the typical looking Goodyear welt but is fine with the Super Soul welt, which as you can see here, is um, gonna definitely still be very usable, very functional. This is a lighter weight boot, and is gonna you know, be a good choice for the winter maybe. It's a nice high quality boot that is made by the same people who are making the Heritage boots, but it's gonna be quite a bit less just because it's not quite as high of grade of leather, and it has a less glamorous outsole you are saving probably close to $100 for a lesser full grain leather and a different style of outsole, which in my opinion is still pretty attractive. One thing you might want to just be careful of is that some of these have fabric liners which are going to definitely affect the long-term wear of the boot and this is one that does not feature the super sole. So even though by all appearances it might look similar to the boots I previously showed you, I would want to make sure that you avoid it because even though it's um, by appearances very similar to the previous ones, it's actually constructed totally differently. I also definitely want to hear from you guys. If you have good experiences with Red Wing's work line of boots, make sure to put a comment down below, especially long-term ownership stories. I love hearing those. There were definitely some very interesting models in the work line that I wish were at my local store, such as this model with the Goodyear Weld or this very cool looking chucka boot. Definitely a huge line of boots in this Red Wing work line of boots, just like the Red Wing Heritage line. I just don't think they get quite as much publicity, even though there's some really interesting stuff in there. Just check and make sure that it's made in the USA and that you're getting that traditional construction. 
As always, I really appreciate your thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and thanks a lot for your time.